Uh, my name is Matt Quintanilla. Uh, Blame Design, that's me on Twitter. Uh, but what I'm talking to you today is paper news. Um, before I get started, I'm just going to say how I got to this project. I uh, graduated with a journalism degree, came to the Star Tribune as a designer for both features and news, uh, and also vitamin. Then I left there to work as a uh, web UX designer for internet broadcasting in St. Paul. And now I am a graphic designer for exhibits at the Science Museum. So it's kind of a random path, but you'll see how those things kind of all connect with this idea of paper news. So the big problem that I have with news websites in general is that they suck. And I could have stolen that title for the next presentation because like, they really are, are bad. And I, and I think what the problem is is, is uh, a number of things, CMSs, uh, SEO, a whole bunch of different things that sort of have locked newspapers into doing things one certain way. And uh, as a print designer, I always felt like, you know, we put so much time and effort and work into designing and really developing this idea not of just laying out pages and paginating things, but actually creating visual journalism. And, uh, you know, layering stories, having the, the content sort of speak for itself, uh, you know, infographics charticles, all the different things that, that have been developed over the past decade or multiple decades um, in terms of visual journalism. And that's not really translated on the web. You know, you get an article and nothing else. You know, there might be an external link, there might be a photo, but it's going to be small. And, and I think that having it um, is really a disservice because you're not getting the same experience that you would be getting in print. Um, and so, the idea behind paper news is to bring both design and editing to the web and, and create a, a better experience that consumers will actually, I don't know, maybe one day pay for. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, if, if um, can, you, can you scroll down just a little bit? This idea, you know, I know Julie said earlier you're building for robots, but I think that when you're talking about newspapers and magazines and, and really any news media, you really want to build for readers. Um, you know, you can, you can build SEO all you want, you can have keywords and all this different stuff, but the, the front page of the newspaper compared to the front page of the website of that same newspaper is pretty much night and day. You're going to get different things on there. And the number of people that are behind designing the front page of the newspaper, it, it's a huge amount. People, you know, I used to tell people, yeah, I'm a newspaper designer, and they're like, oh, people design newspapers? I thought they were just like templates or something. It's like, no, we actually have you know, people working on every single page of the paper. And there are a lot of people who have a stake in the front page of, of, of A1. You know, you've got editors, reporters, photographers, graphic artists, uh, advertisers, um, promotions, people who are in sections behind the A section. All those people really care about what's sort of being presented out there. And being able to, to craft that in a way that's similar to how we craft for the print publication is, I think, uh, sort of the big driving idea behind what paper news is. Paper news is going to be a uh, content and design framework, built on CSS grids, sort of as a uh, way for anybody in the newsroom, reporters, designers, photographers, editors, to quickly and easily build uh, a presentation that matches the content. You know, it's a really big concept in print design. It just isn't happening in the same way um, just because of technical limitations. You know, there's a lot of papers that do really cool special projects, and, and you know, Star Tribune has had uh, things on Liberia. You know, WCCO had some cool stuff on uh, the bridge collapse. All those things are great, but they take time. They take planning. They take um, programmers. They take a lot of different people coming together to work on one specific thing. And with paper news, we could build that in a way that we, we would just build modules. And those modules could then be added to a story by anybody. And using those modules, uh, you could create a presentation that really brings in all the different types of content. If you wanted to throw in a Google map of something, a Twitter follow of something, you know, have a, a larger photo gallery because the photos are actually the big story. And having them you know, stretch the entire span of the page instead of just a little thumbnail in the corner. You know, all these different things. Um, that we, as print designers, have the ability to, to do in, in print because of sort of the luxury of, of desktop publishing, bring that to the web in a way that is, is sort of skips over the, the problem of the technology. Uh, the framework actually would sit between a CMS and the newsroom. So 
you know, I think a lot of newsrooms are kind of locked into what their CMS is. You know, it's, it's a pain to, to take that data and put it anywhere else. It takes time, it takes money, tons and tons of money. So what this would be is sort of just a web-based framework that sits in between there and allows people to have a, a sort of closer to a drag and drop experience on a CSS frame, framework uh, to build the content dynamically. In addition to that, there would be uh, sort of the abilities to create uh, what I like to call additions. You know, saying, okay, we'll, we'll have an edition that comes out for six in the morning. So somebody loads up their website with their breakfast, it has traffic reports up top. It has, you know, things that people need to know getting out the door. Then you have a noon edition, something that's built for people who are, you know, grabbing a bite to eat at their desk and don't really have time to read the newspaper but want to kind of know what's going on. So you put more interesting, more personal, um, sort of featurey type stuff on that page. Uh, five o'clock traffic when it's done, you know, when, when, uh, Sports is happening, Vikings, you can completely change the entire front. All of these things would sort of be built into what paper news would, would do, and um, I, I think it, it would be um, a, a way to really sort of build the same experience that you're getting in, in print, but not have to wait till the next morning, because that's kind of the problem with newspapers now. Uh, so uh, can you scroll down again? Oh yeah, one more thing. Uh, let me explain exactly what Paper News is not, though. It is not a content management system, as I said before. It's also not a template. I can't really show you what Paper News looks like, A, because it doesn't exist, and B, because it will look different for every organization. Uh, really, it's just the framework, all of the design and creation behind the stuff, how each module looks, how in-depth and how crazy they are, is really dependent on who's building it. Um, but with Paper News, you would be able to um, have these modules that are shareable, create a community around sharing these, these pieces of information that plug into it, and, and really create something that, that's, I think, a lot more exciting in terms of, of a product. Um, you can also, it can also be extended into, into the world of advertising. I think having a way for advertisers to really craft ads that sort of reflect the type of content. You know, you don't want to put a, uh, you know, a story against Delta Airlines next to a big ad for Delta Airlines, but sort of being able to sell premium spots or, or things um, in, in different ways that interact with the page differently instead of just your typical square box in the corner or um, you know, a page fold somewhere. Um, but as, as David mentioned, this, this doesn't exist yet. <laughs> it's a application for the Night News Challenge, which is ongoing right now, and I actually have some exciting news. I just found out that Paper News is going on to the next round. We're one of about 300. <laughs> So the deadline's actually still open, so if anybody has any other ideas, like you got until the 15th, so <laughs> just kind of sneak it in there. But um, we're going out to the next round, and uh, that's exciting. And so because I'm just a designer and kind of the idea guy, I, I don't really program that well. You know, I need people to sort of build the team once, once this kind of gets rolling. And, and if we can create, um, you know, a, a sort of plan for, for this project, um, not only with, with programmers, but also for um, people who would be willing to try out this, this uh, system, it really um, will sort of fits the criteria of what the application is, uh, what the program is trying to do. There are three things that the news challenge have, has to be. It has to be innovative, which I hope you guys think this is innovative, uh, sort of rethinking how we present news and information on any screen. It has to be open source, so you know, initially this will probably be built on something like Drupal and um, hopefully then be ported into different ways like uh, for commercial CMSs so that really anybody can use this on top of what they already have and uh, it has to be implemented in a local community. I'm hoping some media organization in the Twin Cities is interested in this sort of thing and, and would like to try this system out once it gets funded and built and then you know, created. So right now the timeline's looking between one and two years. Uh, I've kind of got a guess of what the cost will be. Um, but if this goes through, I'll be looking for programmers and uh, news organizations. So if anybody thinks this sounds interesting, uh, you can check out the website at paperne.ws. Like West Samoa is the <laughs> domain. So, um, and up at the top, if you can click that link uh, that says this is an application, you can read uh, the full proposal. Um, and actually vote for it. it. You know, even though it's gone on to the next round, uh, any positive comments or feedback 
is greatly appreciated. You know, I'm just kind of one guy at this point, so I would love to have more input from different types of newsrooms. Like I've had experience in, in a couple places, but you know, any input that can be added to, to make this uh, a more successful application, I'd, I'd love to hear it. So thank you very much.